Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. I want to take you guys through some of the new Steam game releases in this video. Uh, let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. It's been relatively quiet as far as big budget releases, but still some stuff to keep, uh, keep on your radar. First of all, we have Chris Tales, which is a game that I've been looking forward to for quite a while. If you are a fan of Japanese RPGs, this is a game that'll be right up your alley. Now, it is a little bit pricey at $40. It is enjoying a 10% off launch discount, so it's down to 30 six but the game is described as a gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs with a new perspective. Peer into the past, act in the present, and watch as your choices dynamically change the future all in one screen as you play. The game does have an emphasis on its art style for sure. This is one of the most interesting visual styles I've seen in a video game. I think it looks gorgeous. Maybe it's not going to be up everyone's alley, but I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So from that standpoint, definitely won me over there. It's one that is also available on Xbox Game Pass. So if you don't want to spend the $40, just go on over to Xbox Game Pass if you have that. And you can play it that way. That seems like a pretty good way to play the game alternatively from spending the $40. Game Pass has been offering a lot of great games. I know some of you guys do like to own your games, but... Thought I would mention that as well. Uh, it is available on Steam right now. Maybe add it to your wishlist sometime down the line when it does go on sale. Pick it up then. But overall, this is a game I think is going to be something a lot of people enjoy. Especially if you are a fan of Japanese RPG. Seems to have a pretty good combat system as well. And uh, yeah, visually, it looks great. Storytelling is going to be a big element of the game as well. So definitely keep that on your radar. Next up, this is one that I know a lot of people have been looking forward to, and that is Death's Door, a game coming from Acid Nerve, and Devolver Digital is the publisher, and Devolver's been putting out some pretty cool stuff, and this seems to fall in line. Right off the bat, I'll say, it's got 64 Steam user reviews so far, so not like a gargantuan amount, but 92% of those reviews are positive, so that's already painting a pretty positive picture for the game. Death's Door is described as reaping souls of the dead and punching a clock might get monotonous, but it's honest work for a crow. The job gets lively when you're assigned so soul is stolen and you must track down a desperate a thief to a realm untouched by death where creatures grow far past their expiry. Obviously, this is more of a action RPG, action adventure game, however you want to describe it. The game notes talent, sharp combat, utilize melee weapons, arrows, and magic to overcome a fantastic array of beasts and demigods. Mistakes are punished and victory is rewarded. Gain an edge by customizing your character stats and mastering the abilities and upgrades you obtain. A beautifully bleak world venture beyond the doors and explore a land full of twisted inhabitants and countless secrets, bringing hope to the weird and wonderful characters you'll meet along the way. A dark mystery to unravel, try down and defeat colossal tyrants with stories and motivations of their own experience a somber yet darkly comedic tale uncovering the truths behind the flow of souls the role of the crows and the origin of the doors this one dropped today very positive reception as i mentioned a 16.99 off after its 15 percent off launch discount that is ending very soon so 20 dollars is the base price so you know not the cheapest game in the world, but $20 is definitely pretty palatable, comparatively speaking to Chris Tales 40, so definitely something to keep on your radar if this is the type of game that's going to be up your alley. There is a deluxe edition available, that is $25.49. Next up, here's a game right up my alley, and that is Fallen Knight. Fallen Knight is a game that is definitely reminiscent of the Mega Man games. I mean, this looks totally like one of the old school Mega Man titles, like Mega Man Powered Up, I think it was. The Mega Man 1 remake on PSP, that's exactly what the visual style of this reminds me of, but it, it notes, take the role of an elite knight and battle your way through action-packed levels with intense sword fighting gameplay in this neoclassic side-scrolling action platformer. Save the city from a deadly terrorist organization hell-bent on exposing the truth you were sworn to protect. The game does have a demo available, so if you would rather, you know, try out the demo and then see if you want to ultimately pick up the game that is an option but yeah if you're a fan of Mega Man or uh you know 2d action platformers this is gonna be right up your alley like this is such a throwback to those games if you just look at the gameplay literally seems like you're playing as zero from Mega Man x4 or something uh but you know your name is Lancelot and then there's also Galahad who is an assassin and Lancelot is an honorable knight uh, again, this one dropping today. Excited for this one, especially being a long-time Mega Man fan. It's going to be something right up for me. 
And lastly, I do want to note a game that's going super under the radar, but I was looking through the, you know, low-key new releases, and I found Beard Blade. Beard Blade is another 2D action platformer. This one definitely has a very, very retro look going on for it, but just the idea of Beard Blade as the name kind of got my attention, and it notes, run and jump through tropical 16-bit locales as you fend off foes with the power of Branson shape-shifting beard. Visit the barber to toughen your scruff with new abilities and confront the thieving smugglings. Now, whenever games try to do quirky things like that i mean your beard is shape-shifting i mean that's gonna immediately get me get my attention you know traditional platforming with modern twists merge the best of then and now earn coins and hit up the barbershop to expand your beard abilities explore lots of levels packed with treasures to collect including music record music records and more colorful pixel art and lively animations influenced by beloved 16-bit and 32-bit titles so that one is also out uh, I believe today, but it should be out very, very soon. So keep an eye on out on Beard Blade as well. Definitely a game that's a little bit quirky, a little bit off the wall, but sometimes those are the most interesting games to check out. But that's going to wrap up this one. Again, it's a relatively quiet time for new game releases. Chris Tales is something that has my interest for sure as a JRPG fan. Death's Door, I know, is a game that a lot of people are looking forward to. Fallen Knight, as a Mega Man fan, that's completely up my alley. And Beard Blade, something a little bit more quirky, but I thought since it's going so low-key and under the radar, I thought that was worth a mention as well. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.